everybody, I'm Dawn Lisa and I'm doing my favorite thing, touring Bridgetown from the characters of Town Walking Tours. And today we're gonna hunt for cannons. Yes, hunt for cannons in Bridgetown. You think you know Bridgetown. Well, you know there are many nicknames for Barbados. You've heard of Bimshire, Bim, of course, all sorts of things you've heard for Barbados. But have you ever heard of the Impregnable Fort? That is in fact another nickname for Barbados. And why? Well, the British guarded Barbados jealously and there were over 42 forts all around the coast of Barbados. Now that means we have one of the largest cannon collections in the world. So you think you know where they are, but what if I told you that they're hidden in and around Bridgetown as well? So let's go hunting for cannons and I'll show you some of the secrets of Bridgetown as well. Because would you believe we even had an illegal wine trade? Come, let me show you Bridgetown, come. <laughs> So any guesses for where the cannons might be? You will be surprised that you pass these cannons every day. So I will give you a hint. They are named after one of the royal family on High Street. I'll give you another hint. It is a, a, it just over from a popular Barbados shopping spot. Any guesses yet? And there's not one, not two, not three, but actually four cannons. Are you ready? One, two, and go knock me down. <laughs> three cannons hidden right here on Victoria Street. One, two, three, four. Four cannons in Bridgetown in places you would never think of. Now why? Well, you see, one of the reasons we have our World Heritage Rating is because of our medieval serpentine layout, right? Our streets are very narrow and set out in the old English way. So after the forts closed or were discontinued, one of the things they did with the excess cannon is put them on the sides of buildings. Why? Well, really and truly, to stop the buildings from being eroded as the carts pass by. Because imagine horse-drawn carts turning a corner and knocking off the sides of buildings. So next time you're in Bridgetown, hunt for cannons, but you've got to look at the sides of the buildings. So everybody, I promised to take you to Jewel Street. Well, Jewel Street is Swan Street. That's right. Now, first of all, Swan Street is not called Swan because of swans on Swan Street. It's actually named after the original surveyor who laid out Bridgetown. So next time you work on Swan Street, dedicate it to Mr. Swan. However, we're talking about Jew Street, the, after the Sephardic Jews. Now, Barbados has the oldest Jewish synagogue in the New World. Put that in context. Whether you're in USA or Canada or wherever, the oldest Jewish synagogue in the world is here in Barbados. Now, the synagogue, we all know, but here, which is Swan Street, used to be Jew Street, because much like how the street operates today, run many by Indian community and a lot of our black entrepreneurs, Swan Street was operated by the Jews. And so many of them lived upstairs and did their businesses downstairs. Another note for you. Now, if you're into history, you've heard of the Royal African Company, which was, of course, one of the largest slave traders. Well, their offices were based right here on Swan Street. So next time you're walking down the street, also take a look at it. Found by the market and look back at how it sways and winds. That's part of why we have our World Heritage Rating, our medieval serpentine layout. Just so as if you're a Harry Potter fan like me, think of Diagon Alley. Take a look and you'll realize that Swan Street is much like an old English street. So here we are in Jubilee Gardens. Or if you are a lover of Bridgetown like me or a guide, you would know it would be the Shambles Market. So what was the Shambles Market? Well, the Shambles Market was here central to town and slaves were given one day off a week and that day was Sunday. And slaves came out here and they brought whatever goods they could have and they would sell. So much of the business of the Shambles Market still continues today here in Jubilee. Now what was interesting was Shambles was actually an illegal market. You could get in trouble for selling here. 
But slavery in Bridgetown was a little bit different. Bridgetown was always built on the premise of commerce. And so here in the Shambles market, as much as it was illegal to sell, most of the slaves would have been let out by their masters to sell here in the market. Now, this area is quite interesting. Behind us is St. Mary's Church, the second oldest consecrated ground in the island. In fact, this was the original home for St. Michael's Church, which we now know as St. Michael's Cathedral. So even though this is the second oldest consecrated ground, after one of the many fires of Bridgetown, St. Michael's moved to the south of the city. Now this area was also the hotel district. Lots to see in here, here. There is Cumberland Street right next to court, or as we would know by Mrs. Ram. Now that is interesting because during the American Revolution War, now the British captured a ship called the Cumberland just off of the Carlisle Bay. The men escaped one night down through the alley by court, and hence why it's now called Cumberland. During its hotel days, it was called White Apron Alley because the women working in the hotels owned and wore white aprons. And speaking of hotels, the most famous hotel in Barbados history is in this area, Rachel Pringles Hotel. Do you know where that is? That's another secret of Bridgetown. So I promised to show you where Rachel Pringles Hotel was, right here, just off the Shambles Market, or as we call it, Jubilee Gardens. You know, Rachel Pringle, you make my whole body tingle. Well, Madam Pringles, Royal Navy Hotel was just behind me. JG's Wholesale. That is where Prince William Henry went as a boy and behaved very badly and soon became a British monarch. That's where she charged him 500 pounds, which of course in these days will be over a million dollars, which he promptly paid and she named the hotel after him. Here's another little Bajan trivia for you. Believe it or not, he was actually here in Barbados a part of Lord Nelson's fleet. Would you believe it? Some Bajan stories. So now one last thing to show you in Bridgetown. Of course, Barbados is the home of rum, but would you believe we had an illegal wine trade in Bridgetown? That's right. So you like wine? I'm going to tell you a little bit of story as we take you to, are you ready for this? The Madeira district. And you got to guess, if we're talking Madeira, where are we talking about? So here we are on Hink Street, or if you're touring town like me, the Madeira District. So the Madeira District was where many of our Sephardic Jews had their warehouses, and they were masters of the trade. And because they were from Spain and Portugal, they actually ran an illegal wine trade just off the back of the Carlisle Bay. In fact, there were over 150 illegal docks on the bay. So much so, the government had to put an ordinance in place to control it. And so imagine, in the home of rum, the Sephardic Jews were running an illegal wine trade between Barbados and Portugal. So the next time you're on Hink Street and you love wine, remember you're really in the Madeira district. So I hope you enjoyed my secrets of town, my streets, all the things, so much to show, can't tell all. So you gotta come and take a tour so we can show you all there is to see in Bridgetown. There's so much more. There's the talk of balls and theaters and all sorts of things. So I'm Dawn Lisa. Hope you enjoyed my little tour of Bridgetown.